Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to cut, split and trim your Zoom video recordings. So let's say you've recorded one of your conference calls, and this could be a Zoom call as well as a Google Meets call, a Skype call or any other platform. If you've recorded it, I'm going to show you right now in this video how to cut, trim and split the video so you can edit it and cut out any part you want. Also, real quick, if you don't know how to record a Zoom call, there's going to be a card at the top of the screen right now that will show you how to do so. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using to cut and edit a Zoom call is Veed, which is an online video editor. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D. If not, as usual, the link's going to be in the description down below. So once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button. Once you've clicked on the new project button, we're now in Veed's video editor. And this is where we're going to upload our Zoom call recording. So if I click on the upload video button, and I'm just gonna select my video. Here we have a Google Meets call, but it's exactly the same. And this one was actually recorded with OBS because Google Meets doesn't have its built-in option to record unlike Zoom. But if you take a look, if I just click on play. Good, good, I mean, nothing new really, same. As you can see, I have a Google Meets call. It's the same thing as a Zoom call. And in the beginning, I'm recording it with OBS and I actually want to cut out that part. So right now I'm gonna show you how to cut, trim and split. So as you can see here, I have my call in the timeline. And for an example, the beginning where we see the OBS screen, I want to cut that all off. So what I'm going to do is place my playhead where the video starts or where I would like it to start. I place my playhead here and I can either click on split or I can click and drag this side of the clip all the way until my playhead. If I don't do that, if I just click on split, as you can see, it cuts it. I can then select the first half and delete it. And now I need to make sure that I just click and drag my clip back to the beginning of the timeline. Now, if I want to cut off the end, again, what I could do is drag it off. If I want to cut out part of the middle, I select it and then I can just click split. And then let's just say I want to cut it right here. I can click split again and then I can delete the middle. I just need to make sure that I join the two pieces together. Otherwise there'll be a blank period with no video. But if I bring it back together just like this, and now if I click play. Alex feedback pretty much on his channel. That you have or the next like as you can see, it's now being cut and split. And now on top of splitting and trimming your video, you can also do a bunch more things such as change the aspect ratio. For example, if we wanted to post this to Facebook or Instagram, we could change the aspect ratio. I could post it as a square post on Instagram, then I could just resize it. If we only wanted to focus on one specific person, we could also do so just by resizing and moving this around. The creative freedom is entirely up to you. You can do a bunch more such as add subtitles, text, images, other elements such as pro progress bars, we can also add some audio, change the speed and duration of the clips. And then we can also draw on our video canvas. And then once you're happy with your video and you're happy with the trimming and splitting that you have done, we click on publish in the top right and then Veed will start to render your video with its new cuts and trims. And then once it's finished rendering, you'll be able to then download your Zoom call. And that is how to cut up and edit a Zoom call recording. If you have any questions about how to do so, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.